and uh, you can't see anything unless I spell it out for you. So when you see people like this guy over here, like when you see anybody who talks about blood magic in a negative sense, you gotta understand these people, uh, they're lost, it's either officially dead. They have no blood to spill on bringing forth heaven on earth and in the eyes of the creators, you're in the Colosseum right now. You can't see anything. Okay, I can see it all. You're a fucking retard beyond measure. I don't want your advice. Okay, I don't give a shit what you think about me. This world is mine, and it's been uncontested for so long. I'm telling you, I have the fucking holy lance, and nobody can take it from me because it was placed inside of me, and it's pulling me exactly where we need to go, and it shows me everything. Nobody can stop because you're a little pussy, and you have no conceptual, uh, no conception of reality. Uh, what you're thinking is completely the reverse of truth. Only the devil hides his intent, and until your blood is beside my own, you're a necrophiliac. The devil has your soul print in the Vatican. You don't have to like it. Doesn't matter what religion you are. When you were born, they took a fucking soul print off you. You're officially dead. I'm telling you, when I spilt my blood over my intent, this world became mine. You don't have to fucking like it. But you're officially dead. Legally. Officially a necrophiliac until your blood's beside my own. So, really, when you see anybody... I mean, when I go over here and I see Blood Over Intent videos and I see these uh, some people talking negative, like, uh, when they... You call this... Uh, like, some people say, look at this guy. Do not do it. How could he say what to do if he's never done it before? He's a fucking necrophiliac. He's dead. He's lost at sea. He's a fucking retard beyond measure. It's, it's like these other guys. They're the fucking... Uh, the retards beyond measure, and if I was you, <laughs> I would place your blood beside my own as quickly as possible. If you want the forces of the universe to get behind you, and you want to come back to life and get your divinity back, you have to place your blood beside my own. There is no other way. I have the Holy Spirit, and until your blood's beside my own, you're a necrophiliac. You don't have to like it. This world is mine, and you're a fucking necrophiliac center of the flat earth plane you will find the holy grail every compass is pointing to it this is the two ball cane one side of a light hole is a black hole and at the very center of the flat earth plane this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight the holy grail every compass is pointing to it there literally is no way to screw this up people at the very center of the flat earth plane we will find our exit out of the matrix. It's right over there. We will pass into the Garden of Eden. There's really no way to screw it up. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole on loop. The sun must drip its menstrual blood into the center of the earth or there's no Aurora Borealis coming out. This is the goddess of the earth and she's conscious and she's calling us home. We're gonna go to the very center of the flat earth plane. We're gonna drink from the living waters. No one's gonna stop us. I have the Holy Spear, and everybody appears retarded to me. It's one side of a light hole a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. There is no way to fuck it up. It's parallel universes. And right now, you're on the wrong side of the fence. You need to enter the everyone enter her eye zone at the center of the flat earth plane where the Aurora Borealis is coming out. And then you're going to pass into the land of perpetual twilight. It's right over there at the end of every compass. It's one side of a light hole a black hole, and at the very center, of the flat earth plane is the holy grail where the transfer of information and light happens this is where we're going to drink from the living waters and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight now i have pointed out the, in a previous video that your vowels your vowels are a d i o u and sometimes why you sing that song in america hey hey uh, oh, you, right? You know that song, right? And sometimes, why? All right, so, you see the E is bent to the left. So if you take your E and bend it to the left, and you add the Y, then it says way. And then you have the I, which is also the exclamation point, telling you exclamation, pointing to the center of the dish. And then OU, the reason I put the T there, because if you go back the other way, it's T-U-V. T-U-V, meaning like the vagina hole. Okay, where we need to get to, and the O meaning the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. So the, the V meaning the Divine Feminine, which is the black hole underneath our feet that we need to get back to. And this is the same story being rubbed in your face over and over and over again. You go into church, you 
take communion, that white disc, so the sun is a disc, one side of that disc is a black hole. It's a disc, that's why they give you a disc. You put a disc on your tongue when you go into communion because they're telling you that the sun is a hole. One side of a hole, this hole is a black hole. It's on loop, so when you see candy canes, and if you try, if you take a candy cane and you try and figure it into a figure eight, you'll end up with a question mark. And if you start up with a question mark and figure it into a figure eight, you'll end up with a candy cane. So when you see in Egypt, you see all these statues holding candy canes and onks, it's all the same story over and over and over again. They're showing you that it's one side of a hole is a black hole. That you were birthed into this world, you will be birthed out of this world also. So, I think one of the most important things I, I think we should clear up is this. That Satan is not this evil character that you've been told. Satan is a black sun and the sun is conscious. It's what's bringing your intent to fruition. And that's why they made you fear and think all these horrible things about it so that you would never be able to access this hidden power that you have. Uh, your ability to manifest stuff. Like an example, I want to manifest heaven on earth and I want to bring all my people to the fountain of youth and you know, I put it on paper and I put my blood on it and shortly after that I got the eyes to see the truth and that's coming from the black sun. So I speak my intent into the sun. What that means is that no matter what, I always get my eyes on the sun and I speak my intent. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none. I appreciate you, okay? I make sure that I say that into the sun every single day. Now, you think, oh, that's sun worship. Well, it's kind of funny because Jesus turns out to be the sun. <laughs> and the sun above your head is conscious. So... You're thinking in your head something like I'm crazy, but it turns out you're the fucking Polish one. You can't see shit until we spell it out for you. It's kind of funny. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. they want you to go get reborn again and be like a baby and shit. And what's kind of funny is that your entire Bible, like the Bible says, Satan set himself above God, right? All right. So here you are on a round earth. Every time the sun goes around, you say it's, for example, daytime here, uh, and now you can dig to China, and when you get there, it's nighttime, you'll say the sun is beneath your feet. So, you would be setting God the sun beneath your feet. You would be Satan just believing that you're on around Earth, okay? Now, they tell you that the curvature is 9,999 9, feet. All right, no, it's 6,666 feet for 100 miles. So, as this fictional all would be spinning every hundred miles one third of the earth that around earthers are setting themselves up above god just by believing that the earth is round because the sun while they're over here they're telling you that god the sun is beneath your feet being over here and they're standing on the globe you know what I, mean? I know this is hard to understand because if you've never seen one of these videos this is what you need to understand every compass is pointing to the tree of life at the Tree of Life, there's a hole called the Holy of Holies. Hello, Hi, I'm Benedict in the flesh. 
Hi, I'm the Netherlands of Flesh. I eat yellow fussies. Escape Earth through the exit. Exit Earth through this gate. Eat scissors. Sir, it is good. It's good either. Sir, it's it. early computer guys were creating the first network somewhere around 1974-75. They decided to call it Ethernet after the concept of ether that was in early alchemy. We must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. You need to pinprick your finger and place a drop of your blood over the words, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. You publish a short video beside my own under Blood Over Intent on YouTube. It's very simple. There's no way to fuck this up. I am fucking Satan himself in the flesh. Get over it. I don't take money, worship, advice, sex. <gasps>